Do you have a brilliant idea for a freelance marketplace website or app like Appwork or Fever? Or maybe you're looking to create something unique like an Appwork clone for personal assistants, builders, nannies, houseworkers, construction inspectors, and more. Well, you're in luck. In this YouTube video, I will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of developing your software, pricing it right, avoiding common mistakes, and sharing pro tips to ensure your app is profitable from day one. My name is Denis Bebic, and I am the director of a software development company. Also, I am excited to share valuable insights from not only my team, but also industry experts and successful startup owners. So, if you are ready to turn your idea into reality, let's get started. Creating a website, like Appwork, has numerous benefits, one of which is the incredible potential for success. By selecting a unique niche, such as freelance marketplace for personal assistants, builders, nannies, and more, you will quickly discover just how vast the market is, leaving plenty of room for your innovative ideas. Furthermore, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You can simply observe what's working in other countries and apply those successful concepts to your local market. This is a vital business strategy that has the potential to be profitable from day one. Alright, let's kick things off by identifying the essential components and features necessary for a successful freelance marketplace website. Upwork, for instance, includes separate mobile applications for clients and freelancers on both iOS and Android platforms, a web application and a web-based admin zone. The mobile app offers a number of features, including job posting and searching, profile and portfolio information, communication tools like chat and voice chat via Zoom, payment, invoicing and subscription module, feedback system, analytics and more. The web application for Appwork includes almost identical features to the mobile app, but with expanded functionality for each feature. The web-based admin zone provides numerous functions to manage your users' content analytics, security settings, payment issues, disputing management and user support. When building a freelance marketplace like Appwork, it's important to focus on developing a minimum viable product MVP first. Freelancer platforms are complex and require significant time and effort to create and improve user experience. To achieve this, it's essential to concentrate on one unique feature and the standard four to five functions that are necessary for the micro job app to function quickly. For example, if you're creating a personal assistant freelance platform, focus on one unique action such as tailored assistance search and standard functions like login, payment profile, and basic user interface. The key to success is implementing one unique feature at a time, enabling a winning strategy. Speed is vital at this stage, as a large user base will attract angel investors or acquisition offers from big companies. Competition isn't a concern in this market, as evidenced by Upwork's success and their local successful competitors. The key is to focus on one unique positioning and fast execution from the MVP stage 1 to MVP stage 2 and beyond. The goal is to believe that you can do the same and take first action today. Let's now turn our attention to pricing. Pricing can be challenging as many people overlook critical factors such as quality assurance, bug fixing, project management, maintenance and risk management. Additionally, Estimating the cost of developing unique feature can be difficult. For this reason, I will only provide you with the price for the core MVP functionality. Here is a helpful tip. If you require an in-house development team due to an investor contract, expect to pay US or EU prices. However, outsourcing software development to Ukraine can help you reduce costs without sacrificing quality. Many successful startups, including GitLab, Grammarly, and Jubal, have recognized the value of hiring Ukrainian developers to create world-class software. With excellent English skills, extensive outsourcing development experience, and innovative thinking, Ukrainian developers offer the best value for money. Additionally, Ukrainians are known for their strong work ethic. Now that you have an idea of pricing, you may be wondering, which features to include in your MVP and which to skip. 
the most critical factor is your business expertise in the market and your understanding of how the features are interconnected within your app. This knowledge can determine your success or failure. In the next segment, I will teach you how to identify what is essential and what could lead you to a financial ruin. Despite extensive research on various YouTube channels and web guides, I couldn't find any valuable information on starting your first business without prior app development experience. That's why I've created the ultimate 10-step guide to help you take the right steps toward app success. Skipping any of these steps could result in a waste of your time and money. It's crucial to note that app development costs can vary significantly, ranging from 30k up to 100k. Therefore, it's important to carefully consider the cost differences between each type of app to determine which option makes the most sense for your specific goals and needs at this stage. Okay, let's discuss how to identify the essential functionalities of your app work or Fever app clone. The first step is to create a Lean Canvas business plan, which can help you determine your core features and unique advantages. Begin by identifying your target audience and assessing what features they require that aren't already being offered by existing platforms like AppWork or Fever. Also, examine your competitors or other solutions that might be available to address your target audience problems. Consider your unfair advantage, the factor that sets you apart from the competition and boost your chances of success. For instance, if you already own an agency that can help individuals find personal assistant, you might simply need to digitalize the current process, identify your early adopters and the places they spend their time online and find ways to encourage them to use your platform. But don't just focus on the present, plan for the future and consider potential international expansion of your report clone. Having a vision for your app's future in 5 or 10 years is crucial for attracting investors and achieving unicorn status. If you have any questions, ideas or concerns, please leave them in the comment section below. I personally review all comments and I'm thrilled to assist you in achieving your goals. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you. Achieving product market fit is a critical step towards creating a successful startup. This involves providing innovative and disruptive solutions to your target audience. To do this, you must complete your value proposition table. Let's say you have a unique idea to create a global freelance marketplace for personal assistance. The first step is to identify the main pains and gains of your target audience. These could include difficulties in finding assistance, time-consuming processes, high agency commission fees, and problems with scheduling or rescheduling meeting. Your platform should provide solutions to these issues, such as a list of tailored assistants, a quick and easy way to schedule meetings, platform subscription fee, backup assistance if the first doesn't suit your client needs, and integration with scheduling tools like Calendly. When using the value proposition canvas, focus on delivering the most significant value to your audience. Remember, smaller companies can outplay big industry leaders by being agile, flexible, and investing in unique niches. Take the first step towards success today and make your startup a reality. To create a successful app, it's essential to conduct through research on your competitors and analyze their key features and functionalities. It's highly recommended to focus on industry leaders such as AppWork, Fiora and 99designs and adopt their successful strategies and concepts. You should also explore successful freelance marketplace startups in other countries and adopt their ideas to your market to gain a competitive edge and create a unique product that stands out in the market. If you're planning to develop an app or business similar to AppWork and still have some knowledge gaps, don't hesitate to contact me through any of the links in the description. I'm happy to help and would be happy to share some niche insights that could be a game changer for your startup. To create a successful minimum viable product for your app, it's essential to efficiently select the necessary features and prioritize functions 
that can be developed and launched quickly. One effective method to accomplish this is by creating a story map, which focuses on the limited but most critical features and functionality. To ensure that all user needs are met, it's vital to develop a separate story map for each user type. By doing so, you can identify the features that are most important to each user and prioritize them accordingly, ensuring that your MVP meets their needs and provides them valuable experience. Marketing your freelance marketplace can be simplified by creating various incentive offers for your target audience and running ads on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Google. By creating 5 to 10 different incentive offers, such as discounts, added features, or faster assistance, you can gain insights into what your audience is most interested in. Your goal is to increase your chances of success by promoting your app from different angles and testing which offers works best. If you're interested in gaining more valuable insights on startups and businesses and want to become a part of a community of business founders, click in the link in the video description and join my Telegram channel. As a member, you'll have access to useful information and engage in live chats. After completing your value proposition research and identifying the necessary features for your MVP, the next step is to create a wireframe map. This will help you organize your ideas and ensure that all user cases and scenarios are included. Let's take our freelance platform as an example. It could include basic use cases such as logging in, finding assistance, scheduling functionality and so on. Missing use cases such as what should happen if assistance is not suit needs of the client in one month. Designing a user-friendly interface is crucial for the success of your app, but it doesn't have to be a complicated task. Take inspiration from industry leaders like AppWork, Fever, and 99designs, and focus on creating a clean and intuitive design that caters to your users' primary needs and follows standard freelance marketplace industry design flow guidelines. In our case, you have to prioritize the list of freelancers and or your tailored offers. You have to avoid any unnecessary distractions and highlight only your app's unique features. Pro tip. To get ideas for your design, check out portfolios on websites like Behance or Dribbble. Look for freelance marketplace apps and incorporate design elements that catch your eye. If you found these tips helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. Your support will help increase its visibility in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you. Selecting the correct technology stack is vital to success of your software development process. It ensures that your app remains up to date with your users' ever-changing needs. However, picking the wrong tech stack can lead to issues such as slow user interfaces, non-scalable and non-maintainable cloud infrastructure, high costs, payment issues, and the risk of your app going offline during the traffic spikes. If you're creating an AppWork or Fever style platform, it's crucial to choose the proper tech stack to develop your minimum viable product quickly. Flutter or React Native are excellent options for building mobile apps rapidly, while Python, Django, Node.js and Amazon Web Services are ideal for backend development. Web applications can be easily built using React, Vue.js and Angular. Additionally, Utilizing third-party services like Stripe and Braintree for payment processing, Twilio for SMS, and SendGrid for emails can speed up your development process. It's crucial to select the appropriate tech stack for each phase of your software development process. Begin with a minimum viable product, but plan ahead based on your future feature set when designing your app architecture. Choosing the correct tech stack is crucial to your app success. It's like receiving the correct diagnosis after a blood test. Let's discuss the Agile process, a really powerful methodology that can boost your development speed and efficiency. But did you know that in some situations it could actually decrease project progress speed by up to 30%? For instance, a team of five developers who know their roles communicate effectively and have made substantial progress on the product 
can have a highly effective progress utilizing straightforward tools like Trello, Asana, Google Docs, and brief meetings. However, when your team grows to 15 or more members, unexpected issues can arise, including losing essential developers from the team, complicated and time-consuming onboarding process, decreasing team productivity, more frequent communication issues, postponing deadlines and delivery dates, deteriorating code quality and architecture. To avoid these problems, you will need to hire a tech lead to oversee the team and code architecture, employ a technical project manager, implement processes such as Scrum, Sprint, Backlog and Retrospective, conduct daily stand-ups, and provide updates on pending tasks, utilize more advanced tools like Jira for management and Velocity. Selecting the right tools at the appropriate time can help you achieve your minimum viable product MVP faster. However, using the same tools without the proper knowledge and expertise can lead to failure. To guarantee your app's success, collecting user analytics is a critical aspect of app development. Understanding metrics such as unique visitors, user behavior, and frequent session is vital. Tools like Google Analytics, Session Stack, Firebase, and Mixpanel can provide valuable insights. Performing regular health checks of your app can also reveal hidden client needs and highlight areas where your app can be improved. Alright, if you're planning to create a marketplace like AppWork but still have some missing pieces of the puzzle, feel free to shoot me a message via Glendly and we can have a 30-minute call. I would be happy to share some niche insights and my expertise with you that can be a real game changer for your startup. See ya!